Samir, I am a professor of management. My area of specialization, one is leadership and the other one is professional service organizations. I have been at IMA as a faculty member and as director of the institute for the last two and a half years. Prior to this, for 25 years, I was uh, associated with Harvard University, first as a doctoral student and then as a professor at Harvard Business School for 13 years and then as a professor at Harvard Law School for seven years. I have actually uh, an earlier association with IMA, which is I'm an alumnus of the Institute. So I did my PGDM, which is the equivalent of an MBA, from 1981 to 1983. So in a way, uh, coming here as a faculty member and as a director, it's like coming back to your alma mater. I had a, a colleague at Harvard Business School. He was, a, in fact, my thesis advisor when I was doing a doctorate there. His name is Harvard Stevenson. Many people call him the father of entrepreneurship studies in the world. And he actually was one of the key people who established entrepreneurship at Harvard Business School also. And uh, people would ask Harvard, I would ask Howard, I would say, Howard, what is entrepreneurship? He would say entrepreneurship is to seek uh, your objectives without regards to constraints. I think that is that in some ways captures the dynamism, the vitality, the passion that entrepreneurship includes. It's an absolutely critical element of the growth of our society and our nation today. Entrepreneurship is. India is in a wonderful uh, position demographically. If you look to the next few decades, uh, we, we will continue to be a relatively young civilization. Entrepreneurship is becoming more of a presence in the Indian environment uh, than it has been in the past and it will continue to be a bigger, more important part of the Indian economy. What public policy can do is help with building the entrepreneurial ecosystem rather privilege one sector or another sector. One of the principal campaigns that uh, Prime Minister Modi has been talking about is Startup India, Stand Up India. The very word Startup India, that's about entrepreneurship. Niti Aayog has recently come up with a very interesting uh, report on uh, Atal uh, Innovation uh, Yojana. A lot of people are then taking the next step and saying we have to train our youths to take up the jobs that we will offer them. I think that is a second order element. Actually what we need to build in our youth is a sense of excitement and a sense of uh, creativity so that they don't have to go for jobs uh, that are created for them. They actually create jobs. How entrepreneurial we are able to make our younger generation and how much we are able to support them by building the right kind of an ecosystem which supports and nurtures entrepreneur, entrepreneurs uh, will be a very significant part of the story of India's further growth and development. So when I came to IMA, we had the same thought. Suppose you are currently a practicing entrepreneur. You don't want to fold up your enterprise and come for an MBA for two years. Do we have some offerings for them? And we said, perhaps what we should do is develop a focused executive education offering where we are able to provide these entrepreneurs perhaps three things. One is some building blocks in management so that they have a good sense of what are some of the key elements uh, within uh, effective management. Then a second element which is kind of cross-disciplinary issues related to leadership and management that entrepreneurs face. Whether these be issues of governance or negotiations or operating family businesses. And third, a kind of a network, an ecosystem where they are able to meet other entrepreneurs who are having similar challenges. They are able to meet some faculty who are interested in this space. And so we have designed this uh, YAP program, YEP we call it, Young Entrepreneurs Program, to try and meet these needs. And uh, I must say we are just thrilled with uh, what we have been able to achieve, what the uh, participants in this first program say they have uh, experienced out of it. They are looking for ways that they can improve their enterprises and themselves. So they are very proactive about learning. Well, I truly enjoyed it and how much fun it was uh, working with them and studying with them given their simplicity and curiosity. This uh, to me, and I know it is true for my other colleagues at IMA, is the beginning of a relationship. And in some ways we want to build a network of people who have gone through these programs and build a community where we learn from each other and we stay in touch with one another.